How's it everyone? Welcome to South Africa. So I'm on top of the most iconic point in South Africa, Table Mountain, one of seven natural wonders of the world. This is my first international tour. Really keen to take you guys with me, touring my home country, South Africa. I've got loads of games coming up. I'm traveling to Joburg, Cape Town, and possibly the Kruger National Park. This is a great tour for me because it means I get to introduce my son James to my family, which has been really special. He's also going to be coming to a few matches, so you'll be seeing him joining me along with my wife, Sarah. So we've left England at just the right time. It was getting dark, rainy and miserable, and we come into this beautiful weather, absolutely lovely temperature, and hopefully get a bit of a tan on while I'm here. Hit the beach a bit, maybe go to the game reserve. I know we've got New Year's in Nisna, which is a beautiful beachside town. So South Africa is renowned for its diversity, both in terms of its landscape and culture. And as I travel from cricket club to cricket club around the country, you'll be able to experience this with me. As always guys, I really appreciate all the patrons of the channel. I really, really appreciate all your support. Guys, if you wanna become a patron, follow the link in the description or click on the card above. You can get hold of some Can You Cricket merch in the link down below as well. This is in partnership with Burst Health where you can get a 25% discount. Guys, if standing on Table Mountain doesn't make you subscribe, I don't know what will. So please hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any of the content to come. Plenty, plenty matches and hopefully a few hundreds to come. So the first match on my tour was played at Old Parks Cricket Club in the heart of Joburg. And what you'll notice about the surrounding area is that it's very green because of all the trees. And this is one of the distinctive features about Joburg, particularly in summer, which is the rainy season. Apart from this ground having a beautiful outfield and a really lovely pitch, it has a beautiful cafe, which attracts a lot of people to come and watch the cricket. And this creates a really lovely atmosphere. So the format of this match was a 35 over match. We were playing against Sopranos Cricket Club and you can see at the toss, Old Parks, which was the team I was playing for, won the toss and chose to bowl first. So after a good start by us, getting a quick run out in the first few overs, the Sopranos batsmen started to dominate and, and particularly the batsman with the green hat played an amazing innings, playing some beautiful extra cover drives and some amazing sixes over extra cover. This put us on the back foot from the start of our bowling innings. After drinks, we managed to pick up a few wickets, but because of the start that the Sopranos got in the first 10 to 15 overs, they maintained quite a high run rate because of the wickets in hand. One of the problems with leaving a camera on the side of the field is that it is a big lure for children to tamper with. And as you can see, the temptation for these two young boys was too much and actually led to quite a funny interaction with the camera. I bought a camera. Wait. See me? You're too big. You're too fat. Yeah, I guess. You're too fat, Stan. 
So show you, show you all of me. Wow, how do you do that? So having missed a bit of the action, the runs kept on piling on with a few wickets in between. Soprano has managed to get to a really competitive score, posting 210 off their 35 overs, which meant we would have to do really well to chase down that score. This is what it's all about, guys. Like a booty roll. So we just finished our innings. Um, unfortunately, got a bit of tap, chasing 210. Uh, one of the local rules here is if you don't finish your overs in a certain amount of time, you get 10 runs added uh, for each over. So we were actually three overs um, over. That's an extra 30 runs added to their score. So it would have been 180, but an extra three overs uh, goes up to 210. So put ourselves a bit behind the eight ball, but hopefully we can knock these runs off. Pretty slow outfield, lots of twos and threes, coming in at four. So after a really lovely lunch and an excellent buri roll, which is a real classic South African food, and I'm sure any South Africans living overseas will probably be salivating because they miss their buri rolls so much. We came into bat and after an early wicket and a bit of a thunderstorm and a rain delay, uh, the two in batsmen managed to put in a really good partnership with 80 odd, which put us into a, a good position to possibly chase down the target. So just for any ornithologists out there, this is a hardy dar ibis, which is a common but iconic species in South Africa. Oh, that's got the best. But in the 13th over, we lost the wicket, which meant I was coming in. So let's see how I do in my innings. Right. Let's go, first match in South Africa. Got a nice divly dobbler to contend with, my favorite. And I have to run hard with a really slow outfield. <laughs> How are we doing? There's no real spin. Yeah. Uh, he's giving me the speed. Just nothing special, he's not even spinning. Is that middle, please? Oh yes, just let it. He's the worst guys to come into. You just want a bit of pace on the ball. Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy from the side, he's not carrying any real spin. He's yeah. just pulling it straight. Yeah, no yeah. pace. Yeah. No pace. Cool. Yeah, just the one, just the one. Come on! Well, yes! First match with the B3. Proper send off, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speak to your bowlers about that then. Tell them to bowl badly to me and then it's fine. No, you bet well, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, slow, slow. slow going through. Slow, yeah. The last one sort of skidded a little bit, stayed yeah. a little bit. But yeah. I think this side is skidding through. Yeah, this side is going. This guy's just changing the pace from what I could see, just mm. flight. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But besides that, I don't know. I didn't really see it. Yeah, let's go. That's right. Wait. Just there. Well left, well left, CD. Oh. Yeah. On the line, on the line. Yeah. Ah. So as you saw, not my best innings and uh, unfortunately just got stumped when trying to come down the track. I guess the only good thing about my innings was capturing that proper send off. Funny in one sense, but also a bit unnecessary in another sense, but it still makes for entertaining viewing. So uh, not complaining from my side. During my innings felt quite rusty and didn't really uh, feel comfortable at the crease. I hadn't batted for about two and a half months. My mind wasn't quite as calm as I would have liked it to be, so maybe meant that uh, I was a bit jumpy and not as fluent as, as possible. However, Dieter, the batsman with the red helmet, played an absolutely brilliant inning, scored uh, a really good 50 with some beautiful sixes over the top and put us in a position to possibly win the game.
as you can see, we kept on losing wickets consistently throughout our innings, which pegged us back, meaning that we were always slightly behind the run rates and had a little bit too much pressure on us to chase down the score. Interestingly, because of the ruling of the extra 10 runs for each of the three overs that we should have bowled, that means their score would have been about 180 odd, which may have made the difference. So in this league, it's really important to finish those overs on time so that you don't have those 10 penalty runs added for each over, which may have made the difference. So congratulations to Sopranos. I really enjoyed the match and it was a great way to start off my South African tour. My next match is at Joburg Country Club at Auckland Park. I'll be playing for the Staggerers and I'm really looking forward to that match. I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of my South African tour. I'm looking forward to showing you the rest of my matches. So if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next match. Cheers everyone.